Hey guys, um, just doing a video. Um, it's going to be quite a long one, and there's going to be a few parts to it. I'm going to show off all my zombie films that I've got um, in my collection on multiple formats. The first ones I'm going to show you is DVDs. I'm going to move on to VHS, laser discs, and other formats. Um, so yeah, um, I haven't got anything that starts with A as far as I'm aware, so I'm going to start off with B's. Uh, the first one I've got is the Blind Dead collection. This one includes Tombs of the Blind Dead, Return of the Blind Dead, The Ghost Galleon and Night of the Seagulls, which is a complete collection. Plus there's an, an extra disc by the about the director. I can't pronounce his name, apologies. So, uh, yeah, that's that one. Actually quite good, but it's Spanish and you've got to be able to read subtitles. Okay, next one I've got is one that I'm not sure if it's original title, but it's Bunker SS. This is the original, but I got it from Poland or something like that, so it's in a little cardy sleeve. Um, really good Nazi zombie on this. Um, definitely worth checking out. Next one I've got is Boy Eats Girl. Now, this one's sort of meh. Um, it's not bad. Uh, most interesting thing about it is that the UK recording artist, Samantha Mumba, is the lead girl in it. Uh, which is kind of something a bit different, so it might be worth checking out if you're into uh, music from back in the day. The next one I've got is Brain Dead. This is an absolute masterpiece, brilliant film. Really, really like this one, especially the baby in the blender scene and the lawnmower in the room of zombies scene. Really, really good film. Quite, quite funny. A little bit of back out there with that one. The next one I've got is The Beyond. Now I'm sure quite a lot of you have got this one and seen this one. Uh, this is the uncut version UK on Bitco label. Um, yeah, not tons of zombies in it throughout, but uh, re really, really good film that one. Um, I've got a few mixed up here, but I'll show you this one first. Um, Bride of Reanimator. Um, this is the second Reanimator film. The first one being just called Reanimator. So I think I've probably got that one uh, with the R's. That's probably why I don't. It's not in with the B's, but they're good. And also uh, Beyond Reanimator, which is the newer of the Reanimator films. Also really quite good. Next one I've got is Burial Ground, The Knights of Terror. Um, same again, it's, it's an alright film, quite funny. I do like, well, I say funny, it's not intentionally funny, but it, 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 it is funny. But that's, uh, that's an American import, I don't think you can get that one in the UK at the moment. I don't quote me on that. The next one is another American import, and is Cemetery Man. Um, some of you might know it as Delta More Delta More, and this is just featured in my community top 10 list because genuinely it is a very good zombie flick. Next one, another Fulci one, is City of the Living Dead. By the way, when I said another Fulci one, Cemetery Man's not Fulci, it was. Dun 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 dun! Grab it! The Beyond, I'm referring to. So yeah, this is City of the Living Dead. Sorry about the waviness and me disappearing off camera. So I'll stop my DVDs back up. But yeah, really good film this one. Quite different to most zombie films you'll see because they kind of disappear and they're not sort of like hounding on doors. And the 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 scene you see here is like this. Uh, priest zombie who makes her eyes bleed through like the thought process or something. But yeah, really good. Uh, a UK low budget one, Colin. This is a special two disc edition. Really good film because it's shot through the perspective of Colin the zombie. It's not 
like a group of survivors keeping away from zombies. It's actually um, follows Colin and, and what happens to him and his, his struggle to find food and, and avoid people trying to kill him as a zombie. The next one I've got is not a zombie film per se, because it's, um, it's like Tales from the Crypt, you know, like lots of little different stories, but one of the main stories in Creature One is called Father's Day, and uh, the zombie of the father of the girl in the film comes back and starts killing people off, demanding his Father's Day cake, and... Uh, it's really quite good. The next one I've got is Chud, or Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers. Uh, not a bad film, really. Um, not really seen this one that many times. I think I've only seen this one once. Obviously, this one's still sealed, but I've got this on VHS as well. So I've seen this one on VHS. The next one I've seen a couple of times more is Chud 2, Bud the Chud. It's actually quite a comedic film and it kind of follows um, this guy around who's called Bud and uh, really <laughs> he goes off on his own adventures and the, the two guys that are trying to look after him and stop him from escaping are like uh, they're getting themselves into a few mishaps but yeah it's, it's quite quite a good one the next one is another low budget one from Trauma uh, it's Chopper Chicks in Zombie Town. It's a hoot, this film, it really is. Uh, very, very funny. Uh, very, very cheesy. Uh, one to check out if you're into low budget zombie stuff. The next one is Children Should Have Play with Dead Things. Um, this one's an absolute masterpiece. Um, and for some reason, it got a 15 certificate, even though there's uh, necrophiliac scenes in it where the main protagonist starts raping the corpse of a dead chap um, and doing so bringing them all back from the grave to kill him. Just one second while I grab a quick drink. There we go. The next one is an absolute shite film, not really one to track down unless you've got to have every single zombie film. Children of the Living Dead, I'm not going to talk too much about this one, just avoid. Dead Snow, brilliant film. Let me try and I'll show you the, the zombie on the front, she's awesome. This is in my top 10 zombie, Nazi zombie films, brilliant, brilliant film, everyone should check this one out. I think this is the UK special edition with a slip case, but I could be wrong. Uh, another one that I've got multiple times is Day of the Dead. This is the original, and it's the uh, the import <coughs> with the scrapbook and lots of other extras. It's a two disc. I'm not going to talk about it because everyone will have seen it. Another Romero one is Diary of the Dead. Not a bad film, but not obviously his best work, but it's got some of the best looking sort of zombie effects in it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. Next one, uh, not zombies per se, but zombies do come out of the ground as well as a mummy to defend the mummy against Tomb Raiders. Uh, so yeah, this one's in me, zombie zombie piles because obviously there is zombies in it for some small period of time okay I'm going to close this video off uh, there as part one because I'm nearly up to ten minutes uh, I'll keep these into ten minutes as near as I can so please continue to watch this in part two which should either be at the side or below so I'll see you in a second guys bye